Uh, I just think uh, guys coming together, knowing we have, knowing exactly who you got, you have, and trying to eliminate uh, as many uh, mistakes as possible. And of course, one other thing was the Walter Payton Award. You won the nominees for it. You even talked about it a couple of weeks ago, just being back in your old town. What is that like to get that nomination? I mean, it's it's really an honor. It's amazing. Um, I would have never thought I'd be up for the award. I didn't, I didn't even realize I was. You know, what I mean, doing that much in the community. I, it was just stuff I was trying to do every week. Didn't even realize that I could be up for the award. And then, you know, being home is just like I just wanted to be a part of everything. And uh, when did they tell you? When did I find out? Yeah. <sighs> I probably found out. Uh, I, I want to say when you guys find out is when I found out. We found out I yesterday. Think, <laughs> yeah, I found out yesterday too. <laughs> <laughs> It was a, you know he came? No, I didn't know. Uh, it was the stuff going on that day um, that I didn't I didn't pick up on, you know. Uh, so you know, I went to my elementary school. I went to uh, English Park, old park I play uh, football at, uh, with the Bankhead Jaguars, and we got to like my high school and like I see like Coach Gartrell, you know, he retired, so I'm thinking, you know, he probably on the beach sipping pina coladas or something, <laughs> and. And he comes downstairs. I'm thinking to myself, like, what's going on? Like, why are you here? And, um, you know, he was talking about, you know, the community and how much, you know, impact you can have on kids and everything. And uh, that's when they, they told me. Got me crying on camera and stuff, man. You know they can't go away now, right? I know. I know. What's the difference specifically within that community since the last, you know, you obviously did work, but what do you think has been the biggest difference since you've been able to get back to uh, I, w I would say, uh, you know, the kids believing. Uh, the kids actually seeing somebody who's been in their shoes and uh, being able to ask questions, uh, seeing a smile on their face, man, and, and, and them wanting to, to change, you know, their environment, change the way they live. So um, that's, you know, like the biggest impact I've seen. What do you think Jeff Nixon will do this week? <laughs> I, I have no idea, man. Maybe I should text or call him, see if he can give me the inside scoop. Now he's a, he's a good person. Yeah, I mean, I was I was just there last year. You know, he was my running back coach. So, uh, well, he's the offensive coordinator now. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's I mean, it's, it's good for him. Yeah, can you see him get that opportunity? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's running back. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm happy for him to get that uh, opportunity. So, is, would you make heavy run game because he's the running backs coach? I have no idea. <laughs> I, honestly, I don't I don't know what what. Uh, what Nixon has in his mind, what he's going to run, I have a legit no idea. What do you think of the Monday night game? 46 rushes and three passes. Is that kind of a running back spring game? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not. It's, it's, it's not a running back's dream job. Um, you know, in a cold 55 wind gusts, you know, 25, 35 miles per hour, when it, cold and all that stuff. Like, that's not football weather. By the way, what is football weather? Football weather is not snow. <laughs> not 50 mile an hour wind? No. Do you feel like this game you were just able to relax, go out and play instead of overthinking? I know you say you kind of thought, overthought some games. Um, yeah, I just go out there and, and really in my mind, I just wanted to make a play for, for my teammates. I, I, I wanted to, you know, you know, you know, show my coaches that you know that I could do it. Uh, I felt like you know previous weeks, you know, I probably let them down, and and you know, like I felt that. So uh, with every opportunity that I get, I just wanted to, to to make a play. How does it feel to go back to Carolina? That's the place that gave you opportunity. We're running back, but this time they get me obviously. I mean, I mean, it feels good to go against your former team. I, I know. Darn, darn near all most of the defensive players, so they're gonna be out there talking smack and everything. So it's it's, it's gonna be fun. In terms of the offensive line creating space, do you feel like that's improved recently? Numbers suggest that. 
No, I just. No, I just, I just feel like, uh, you know, we've locked in these past couple of weeks. You know, we we know what our issues are. So we locked in. We we hunkered in. You know, we met, and and we went out there, and we had confidence that we would be able to run a ball. So that was just one of the things. I would say the confidence grows when when you're out there doing good, you know, when you're breaking runs. Yeah, that confidence, you know, it grows, but you have to continue to work at it. we we got to continue to grind. Just one last thing. Uh, Evans, uh, and the uh, fullbacks aren't as uh, popular as they were a while ago. Having somebody like Keith Smith mm -hmm. can do what he does and do some of the dirty work, um, what's it like having, having him kind of go through Man, Keith is amazing. I hate that he doesn't get to shine that. You know what I mean? He should. Keith is amazing. Keith does it all. He can catch out of backfield. He can block. He can. He can run the ball as well. Uh, Keith can do it all, man. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's a really a great running back. You know, I, I wear his hoodie to make fullbacks great again. I wear it all the time, man. I love Keith Smith. Appreciate you. Mm -hmm.